Hi, we're the team behind Tico. As inventors, we constantly use 3D printers to create and test our ideas. But every 3D printer we used fell short of our expectations. They were heavy, overcomplicated, and unreliable. We often spent more time calibrating our printers than printing our inventions. So we came up with a simple solution, Unibody. This is Tico, the Unibody 3D printer. Most 3D printer frames are built using separate rails. Unibody means the rails are built into the chassis, creating one solid piece. One solid piece, Unibody. And with this simple shift in design, all the problems that came from separate rail systems disappeared. More reliable and accurate, Tico sets a new standard for 3D printers. And it doesn't stop at Unibody. Tico has an internal filament tray, an enclosed build chamber, auto safety shutoff, a large print volume, a flexible base, wireless connectivity, and cloud-based software so you can print from almost anywhere on any internet-friendly device. In the last few years, there have been a wave of great low-cost 3D printers that are easy, affordable, and accessible. But they're limited to only being able to print in one color or material. So we questioned and said, how can we take this to the next level? How can we bring 3D printing to a point where we can print objects that are much more representative of the ideas we're trying to communicate? So we created the palette. From elegant home projects to highly complex prototypes, complete with electrical connectivity, the palette enables your printer to create objects that used to be in the domain of much more expensive machines. What the palette lets you do is turn your single color 3D printer into a multi-color and multi-property printer. At Mosaic, We've come up with our own unique solution. It takes in four different types of filaments, and it actually joins them together, end to end, into one single filament strand that has perfectly calibrated lengths of each different filament. This approach enables controllable, multicolor functionality from a single extruder, the extruder already on your 3D printer. At first, it was all about color, and that was really exciting to us. But then with this new influx of materials that hit the market, like electrically conductive filament, all of a sudden, we're now able to upgrade a printer to print something like a flashlight or embedded circuitry. And that's just now. There are new filaments becoming available all the time, from magnetic to stainless steel infused. And by combining these filaments with the palette, a whole new range of functional parts can be printed. One of the big things we focused on since day one was no modifications as well as cross-platform compatibility. You put the palette next to your printer, run the filament through the measurement system, feed it into your printer, and then hit print. The software that you already use, the CAD programs, they can all export multiple SDLs. You slice these with your favorite slicer, run the output through our app, and you're ready to print. I realized that most of the 3D printers in the market um, they fall into two groups, uh, high resolution but very expensive or affordable but in poor quality. That's why we decided Moonray to bridge the gap between quality and price. I think the best design is the one that is out of the way. And when we designed Moonray, we decided that we should take all the clutter and all the things that make a product more uh, less, less understandable and minimize it to something that is more useful. Most of the 3D printers have a consumable resin tank, but we took on this great challenge of redesigning it in a way that you don't have to replace it after every print that you make. So it's more durable and it lasts longer. The heart of every high resolution 3D printer is the resin curing unit. Most 3D printers use either laser or commercial projectors to do this. But we develop our own custom built UV DLP projector, we call it Ray One. It lasts for 50,000 hours and it's able to create parts as fine as 100 micron resolution. Yeah, what makes Moonray special and attractive, I think, is the resolution. I, I haven't seen that tight of resolution on a desktop uh, SLA printer that's available uh, 
for the price that it's at as well. There's always been a few different challenges in 3D prints. One is not only being able to have it smooth from the print or a lot of post-processing. And the Moonray allows me to be able to have minimal post-processing. And then also the support structure usually creates a lot of different points on a 3D print that have to be cleaned up later. And in this case, it was very easy to do. In many ways, the design of the Moonray was about making it more compact and more efficient and more versatile so it would fit in different environments. Yeah, for the resolution, you can't beat the Moonray. The price and resolution ratio is incredible. You can't beat it. There's nothing else out there like it. Had a couple of characters that I created in ZBrush printed on the Moonray, and I was really impressed. I was really blown away, actually. All the small details, little elements, textures, lines, everything that I created in the software came out in the character, and you know that really got me excited. Um, the Moonray revolutionizes the opportunities that I have to run my business. Uh, everybody can use Moonray because it's affordable, it's easy to use, and it has the best resolution among all the desktop 3D printers. We believe that the future of 3D printing relies on making it available for everyone. We are excited to deliver Moonray to everybody and to see what they can create with it.